This video is about the next speech that you'll be working on, which is speech to teach. It's really important that you um, realize that it's not just going to be a demonstration speech, but a speech you're actually going to teach the audience how to do something. Remember that audiences learn through hearing things, by seeing things, by hands-on, by doing them, and you're going to incorporate all of those things inside of this teaching speech. Everyone in the entire class is going to have to do whatever you teach us. Keep in mind that it should be creative and fun, and it should be something that you have not, uh, you know, someone doesn't know easily how to do. It should be something unique or different that you know how to do. So everyone in the class is going to be involved. You're gonna to need to ask the audience if there's allergies, especially if you're going to make some kind of food or treat. Um, a peanut butter jelly sandwich is not rigorous enough. Maybe some cool Rice Krispie bar with a fall festival theme is interesting. Origami, crafts, dance, sports moves, um, anything like that'll work. You're going to need to have a little mini lecture and steps. You can take pictures of step one, step two, step three on your iPad, and you can share that in your lecture. You need to demonstrate it. You're actually going to demonstrate it yourself. And then the audience is actually going to have to have hands-on. They're actually going to have to do exactly what you teach them to do. Some other details that you need to remember are you're going to need to clean everything up. The speech is about five minutes, not under five minutes and not over 10 minutes. It can be something as unique as a card trick. It could be uh, duct tape wallets. It could be some kind of cool food thing. Remember that you're going to be in charge of cleaning it up. You are also welcome to go ahead and uh, use Pinterest or Instagram or uh, YouTube to find out cool ideas, unique things to do. Um, think of things that you know how to do, but make sure that the whole class doesn't already know how to do them. Otherwise, they'll be bored with the topic. Again, you're going to pick three topics, um, and you are going to make sure that you ask people in the audience, which sounds good, and you can have a partner, one person or two people.